Which one of your co-stars do you believe is the least trustworthy? Ooh. Well, I have Sablin because she's shown me that, you know, you can't really – it doesn't matter who's involved in her eyes. It doesn't matter who's involved, whatever's going on. She's just going to blurt it out and, in my eyes, cause drama. But I would have to say Evelyn, you know. The last scene says it all. Like, we were, we were talking – Things got brought up that happened already that was in the past, and because you know she just felt like bringing it up, which she had she had no business being involved in because it has nothing to even do with her. But she just wanted to bring it up, you know, once again just to cause more problems between Kristen and I. But yet everybody thinks it's, it's um, OG that is preventing Kristen and I from making amends, but it's really a you know her. Which basketball wise? cast member is your least favorite? I'd have to say Evelyn. And I think the, the viewers could vouch for that. I mean, um, she's just, I mean, from day one I've always felt she's had it out for me. You know, before I could even barely shake her hand, you know. At the, so, I think she just always had something against me. And any chance she got, you know, she just, you know, can I say the word attack? Because I guess nobody can say the word attack anymore amongst all the group. But, you know, I think she's always just had it out for me. How does the drama with Kristen and OG spill into your personal life off camera? Unfortunately, Kristen and I are not on speaking terms um, still, and, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. You know, we may stay like this forever. I don't know, but it, we're not on speaking terms right now, which is really unfortunate. If Kristen was interested in making amends, would you accept her apology? I mean, I, I would, but I don't know if our relationship would be the same as it was, you know, prior to this. Which Basketball Wives star changes the most once the cameras start rolling? <laughs> 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 wow, you're going to ask me that, Chris. You know, honestly, I the only person I could really mention is the one I know the most, and that would be Kristen, only because, you know, there are times when I kind of look at her and go, oh, gosh, you know, I don't, I don't really remember seeing you that way ever. So I would have to, if I had to pick somebody, I would say Kristen only because I know her the most and I really know how she is off camera. I, I mean, I'm just going to have to say it. That's it. <laughs> the way she is towards me, I've never seen before just really so confrontational and, you know, upset all the time and wanting to talk about the same things all the time. And, you know, I know Kristen as the person that just kind of lets things go. You know, she's the type of girl that if something happens, she'll say, oh, that person will get over it, you know, moving on. And I just don't see that with Kristen right now. Did you know beforehand that OG was going to put Kristen's husband on blast for not being Byron Scott's biological son? No, I didn't. I did not know beforehand. I know it was on her mind later as, it, you know, she started getting upset about different things related, you know, problems she had between her and Kristen. But I did not know that it was going to happen that way. Um, it wasn't my intention. I mean, gosh, the, the conversation took place, you know, over dinner over two years ago. And if, 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 oh, in my opinion, if OG really wanted to use that information, um, she could have done it sooner. She never did. She never, you know, made it an issue like that and knew for years, and she knew from other people as well. So I didn't know this, that this would happen. And, and Byron got involved with this, uh, with Kristen on, on Instagram, right? How was his relationship with Shawnee or your relationship with Shawnee? I know Byron was upset because we had seen a clip where, you know, Evelyn and Shawnee are kind of make, making fun of me a little bit. I have an overbite, right? So they're, like, making fun of my overbite and, you know, trying to make fun of the way I walk, which I don't even understand how they, why they do that. It, you know, I think it just affected him because he's looking at that like, okay, you've never done anything to Shawnee. She's doing that. And there was more in that scene that you don't see. He got cut off at the beginning. So he got to see it. I got to see it. We just thought it kind of sucked because, I, you know, I never had any beef or any issues with Shawnee, her and I, ever. He was just kind of upset that, like, hey, you know, you've never done anything to her. Why is she making fun of you kind of thing? So just kind of sticking up for me. Did you really quit Basketball Wives, or will you be coming back? You know, to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to be coming back. Um, right now it's a little up in the air, you know. 
I had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of downs, <laughs> more downs than ups. But there are a lot of things that were just kind of rocky with me that kind of give me a bad taste in my mouth. So at this point, I'm not quite sure if I'm coming back or not. Hey, everybody, it's Cece from Basketball Wives, and you are listening to the Dominic Natty Show 